Hi, thanks for watching this video. I'm doing a three part series on how to personalize your builder grade home. I want to start right here in the kitchen, just jump right in. Um, some things that we did to upgrade our kitchen. We did several things in here. Um, the standard plan for this house was to have 36 inch cabinets and there was only like three or four choices, but these are solid wood maple cabinets that came standard. What they did not offer was any kind of a hood. They only offered one of those little tiny metal hoods. Uh, I didn't like that option. And we found out that our local hardware, we have a little local hardware store, they actually sold the same brand of cabinet. So we went through them, ordered the hood. It was a $300 purchase. And this was 12 years ago when we built the house. I'm still very happy with it. Love the way it looks. We also, through that same hardware store, ordered these end caps. Um, they're a raised panel is what they are and they match the front of the cabinet. This was going to be just the very flat if You can kind of see in between This was just a flat it matched, uh, but it was just flat So we ordered these raised panels and my husband installed all of they're on all of the ends of our cabinets So we did the 42 inch added the panels added the hood. Um, something else that we added, this is kind of hard to see. <laughs> I wanted the furniture feet look that was not an option through our builder, so I did some research on it. And they're quite expensive, and most of them come unfinished. So I found these on eBay. The only problem was they were way too thick. They were twice this amount of thickness. So my husband just sold it in half, which gave us twice as many. So we have several of them. It kind of gives it that like furniture feel and I love that upgrade um, another thing that we did through our builder upgrades were very expensive one example of that would be to get granite countertops it was ten thousand dollars and we did not want to add that into our loan so we went with the Formica and then we waited about three years into living here and we went to a granite yard got this granite. It doesn't photograph well. It doesn't video well. <laughs> for some reason it looks flat, but it's very shiny. Um, for $4,000, we did our entire kitchen, a brand new big porcelain sink, and a brand new faucet. Love that upgrade. My husband, the day that we <laughs> laid our granite, I had wanted a backsplash. So we went and picked it out, and the day that our granite came, my husband installed this for me. It's very neutral, and it's throughout the kitchen. I love it. I tried to make this video a few times and every time I've tried, it has been raining or dreary. And again today, it's very dreary. So I feel like the colors don't come off as well, but I'm still in the kitchen. This is where we have our little eat, uh, little kitchen table. We eat here a lot. We have four chairs and the four of us eat here a good bit. We added shiplap and this stone we had left over from the fireplace that we built and we just put it on this little half wall to give it a little character you know our house when i say builder grade it was just so plain so ordinary like you know every other house so i tried to do things that are kind of outside the box um this also goes over here on this wall and this summer we're going to go ahead and do this wall I don't like how I had wallpapered the entry and then we have paint, you know, this was paint and now that we've shiplapped it, I want to shiplap just this wall also to make it all uh, cohesive. Also in this breakfast area, um, all of our lights when we built the house were extremely plain, like every single light. They just didn't have good lighting options to choose from, so I wanted the stainless steel or the brush nickel package. So that's what I got, but they were, everything was flush mail. Well, I love chandeliers. We have since added either six or seven chandeliers. And this is just above our little eat-in table area. This is just a quick, simple little thing we did. Um, I ordered this rack that has these hooks and my husband, he drilled right in through the tile. Um, and that's just like a permanent place for coffee mugs and I changed the coffee mugs out and I really like that. The next thing that we personalized um, is kind of hard to explain. Just picture, if you will, this 
group of cabinets, these two in this cabinet, this cabinet, and the refrigerator were all slid down right up against this wall. This pantry didn't exist. So you could see right here, you could just see wall. It was just a weird, just the same amount as this pantry. There was just a blank wall. So I had the idea one day, and luckily my husband went along with it, to add a pantry. We were lucky enough, um, this they discontinued this type of cabinet through our cabinet maker, but we took a cabinet, I think we took a drawer, to Menards, and we just were lucky enough that they had the same arch, and it's not an exact perfect match, but it's close enough for me. I, you wouldn't notice it if I didn't point it out. Um, this pantry that we added, I want to say it was right around $500, but it is, it has been worth every penny. It makes this look built in, if that makes sense. It makes the fridge look more like built in. And we were kind of limited. We had the type of refrigerator when we did this, that was the um, armoire doors with the pull out uh, bottom and the doors were bigger and it kind of would hit the wall if you opened it all the way. So I hated that. I actually hated that fridge, so the side-by-side -side is not as attractive, but the ice maker is wonderful in this, and I'm just, <clears throat> just funny about storage, and I just, this works better for me. So yeah, not as pretty, but so that was an upgrade. Oh, one thing that we had to do that was tricky, this cabinet didn't come with trim. Our original cabinets did come with this, I don't know if that's crown molding or what you'd want to call that. So we had to match that up and stain it. That was the hardest part of that project. Uh, but well worth it. I really like this upgrade that we did. Um, once again, just turning the builder grade look into something a little more personalized. Kind of along the same lines as the cabinet that I'm just talking about that we ordered. Our builder, the original plans, I think this is so weird. It just stopped right here. There was not, this little skinny cabinet wasn't part of it and this was not part of it. It was just an open, you could see the side of the stove. Luckily, right by the place where um, we went to have our home built, there was one, this exact model being built, and those people let us go through it, and when I walked in that kitchen and saw the side of their stove, I hated it. It made me wanna change the whole plans. I hated it so much, and the person that took us on the tour were like, oh no, you can just add a cabinet there. So we did that. That was an upgrade, and I can't remember the cost of that because it, it's been 12 years ago. But um, that gives it the stove a built-in look and a lot more storage. Okay, the lighting's not good in this hallway, and I apologize. Um, we replaced all of our interior doors. We did this probably five years ago. Like I said, we built the house 12 years ago, so it has taken several years to get us to where we are now. The house came with the standard, what most houses have, which are these six panel doors. This is our back door right here that goes to our garage, and it's a steel door. And one steel slab door is $600, so we did to make it look like this. We want to do that. That's on our list of wants, but um, have not done it yet. We replaced all of these doors. They were less than $100 a piece. I want to say $80 or $90, but we, to save money, we just bought the slab. So we just bought the door. It did not have the holes. It did not have the hinge marks, wherever they are. My husband had to do all that. He cut the holes for the handles and we just used our existing hardware. But I love a cottage style and I'm very, very happy with this upgrade. I think that takes like a builder grade home to the next level. That looks just very personalized to me. And they look yellow in this light, but they're actually, all of our trim is like an off-white. The pantry, is actually doubled in size from what the original plan was. When we were in the final stages of building, the lady who walked us through the whole process mentioned to me that for $300, I could go from like this size, the single size, to a double pantry. That was money so well spent. We use every square inch. We actually have nine foot ceilings. So we added a whole nother, there was four, there's four, you know, racks in here, and we added a fifth at the very top, and I keep all my paper goods up there. 
So that was a wonderful upgrade that we did, as well as the nine foot ceilings. I love that upgrade. That was actually a very reasonable upgrade as well. I believe it was either $1,500 or $1,800 to go from eight foot to nine foot ceilings. Obviously not something you can do after your home is built. So that was money very well spent. This might be kind of hard to see. We added several of these throughout our kitchen, these slider drawers, and it really helps with storage and organization. They were, I think, $45 each. They were kind of pricey and we bought them over time. I didn't buy them all at once. I just ordered them here and there. I'm gonna stop this video. It's getting a little long. Um, right here in our entryway, this is the board and batten that my husband did. I will talk about this, our brick wall, our stone fireplace, and some other things that we did to make our builder grade home more personalized um, in another video. So thanks for tuning in and please watch for my next video.